Sandat here. Welcome back to another DC Universe Signature Collection review. I'm staying on track this time. I just got this figure in the mail. And to show you my dedication, that I am dedicated to reviewing these figures each month from now on, he's not even opened yet. Today we're looking at Freddie Freeman, better known as Captain Marvel Jr. You think Captain Marvel, you think of this guy. You think Captain Marvel Jr., well, you think of... This guy. Or you don't, because you have no idea who the character is. A lot of people don't, I thought they did. Anyways, not looking at the box much longer. We do have some nice card art. Or not card art, but box art. Um, that I do appreciate. And on the back here, if I bring this a bit closer, you can see his real name is Freddie Freeman. Yeah, I wouldn't have guessed that when they called him Freddie Freeman. Um, he was an average young boy until the villain Captain Nazi killed his grandfather and left him crippled. Witnessing the tragic accident, Billy Batson, also known as the hero Shazam, or Captain Marvel, shared some of his incredible powers with Freeman, making him a crime-fighting partner. After an adventuring with the Teen Titans, a terrible event left Freeman without powers or direction in life. One day, he was magically transported to the Rocky Eternity to go through a series of trials. Upon his success, he finally achieved the incredible powers in the DC superhero identity, Shazam. So that is Captain Marvel Jr. Now... I'm going to refer to him as Captain Marvel Jr. throughout this video. I don't care what the box says. So, without further ado, let's see if this figure's worth anything. So, here is Freddie Freeman, a.k.a. Captain Marvel Jr. Like I said before, Captain Marvel Jr. is his name, and therefore I will call him by that. Now, the thing is, is you know, I have nothing against Marvel. I just, you know, I'm a little... How, how, how do I say this? I'm a little biased towards DC uh, in a lot of things, but Captain Marvel, you know, this guy, who we now know have to call Shazam for legal reasons, has been around a lot longer than Marvel Comics, and Marvel Comics is Captain Marvel. So why did that DC not get the trademark to the name Captain Marvel? That's because Marvel showed up at the patent office first. Whoever was the slow runner at DC that day was probably fired. And that is why we have a figure called Freddie Freeman instead of Captain Marvel Jr. That's why we have a figure Shazam instead of Captain Marvel. That's why we have a figure, Mary Batson, instead of Mary Marvel. And that's why Shazam is now the official name for Captain Marvel in the New 52. That is my tangent on the name. Moving that aside, Captain Marvel Jr. is a very nice figure. Just not one many people would want. Unless you're a hardcore comics reader, this guy's probably not on your high list of things. Um, in terms of uh, television, video games, uh, and movies, he appeared in a single episode of Batman the Brave and the Bold, uh, The Malicious Mr. Mind. Yes, I love Brave and the Bold. So don't question my knowledge of these episodes. And that's pretty much all you would have seen him in. Now, that aside, Captain Marvel Jr. has appeared in the New 52 very briefly at the end of the Shazam story arc. And I hope that leads to this character getting a bit more attention, because he is really neat. Because while he has the powers of Shazam, he doesn't turn into an adult like Captain Marvel does. He stays, you know, as a teenager. Much like Mary Marvel does. So, when you have all three of these together, it makes up the, the overall Shazam family. Like, these are the three. There's other, um, you know, Captain Marvels and other variations, but these are basically the big three. These are like your Superman, your Batman, and your Wonder Woman. You gotta get all three, because they all work together. There's other characters beyond that, but as long as you have these three, you have the most important characters. So anyways, let's take a look at Captain Marvel Jr. After I said that three times. Here we go. So, unfortunately the figure is a bit bland, but really, that's no problem, because 
there's not much they could have added. What you have is really nice head sculpt. It gives off that Elvis vibe. Um, there's a story about Elvis and Captain Marvel that I don't know in full, so I'm not going to tell it, but you can look it up online. But as you can see, his face sculpt is really nice. Um, he's got the big popped-up collar. Um, he's got a new cape, a uh, full expanded red cape, um, compared to uh, Captain Marvel's... Captain Marvel's cape that just fell on the ground. Uh, Captain Marvel's folded over um, collar down cape. So he, he's going he's going all cape here. He's like, I'm not going to fold any of it away. But you see, brand new cape. Very nice. He uses the uh, Legion of Superheroes body mold as I've come to know it. Um, I think it's been used for other things like the uh, Dark Knight Rises exclusive uh, Bruce Wayne to Batman. we got these new gauntlets here, uh, which, you know, the standard Shazam power gauntlets. Uh, the fists are reused from Legion, except now there's no rings, so... Those are new. And his legs are the same, pretty much, until you get to the boots, which are nice, uh, you know, Captain Marvel-style boots. So very nice overall. Now, the thing is, is that this figure may look a bit boring to some people because you don't know the character. If you don't know the character, then really, it's not one you really want to track down. But if you are a Captain Marvel fan, uh, like the Captain Marvel family then this is definitely a figure you'd want to pick up. If you aren't into Captain Marvel and you don't know the Captain Marvel family, then it's not, it's an easy pass. That being said, I am glad that this figure is in the subscription. I am glad that any figure in the subscription exists. Because with the cancellation of DC Comics Unlimited and Batman Unlimited, the subscription figures are going to be the only 6-inch DC Comics figures based on the comics for collectors. So any figure I can get, I am happy with. And I would have won this guy last year. But, hey, Mattel made him. I got him. He's awesome. Now, that being said, not every figure I think deserved a slub slot. Um, Red Hood and Bat Zaro come to mind, but... Again, I appreciate the figures because knowing that next year there's probably going to be 13, maybe 14, if we're getting a Comic-Con exclusive, comic-styled 6-inch DC figures. That being said, let's go over articulation. Ball joint and neck. A little bit restricted. Shoulder joints. Bicep swivel. Elbow joints. Wrist swivel. Uh... Ab crunch joint is limited, just like the Legion superheroes. Uh, the waist joint is limited because of the new belt that I forgot to mention. Outward leg movement, forward back leg movement, a thigh swivel, a knee bend, and an ankle pivot. So, you know, you have all the movement. The problem is, it's got the Legion of superheroes hips, which means they got to come. They got like three positions they really can go, um, and thus it's kind of awkward to pose them. But once you do pose him, like you do. He's okay. Um, mostly, I've noticed this with Legion figures, they don't want to hold a pose when their legs are spread out, and that's a problem with the mold, not with Captain Marvel Jr. So, what do I think having the Shazam family, having Captain Marvel Jr., uh, having Captain Marvel stand in the front here for some reason? So, this is what happens when gravity increases. I'm pretty convinced that anytime I do a video and turn the camera on, gravity's like, no, 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 you can't do that without something falling over, and just pushes them down to the ground. Anyways, Captain Marvel Jr. is an interesting figure, uh, mostly because he's very basic. Uh, only a few new parts, they're really just kind of altered versions of the Captain Marvel parts. But having all three of these just really works for me. Um, I'm glad that they made Captain Marvel Jr. That being said, I'm more excited for Fire, Huntress, Ocean Master, and Ra's al Ghul, but I enjoy having Captain Marvel Jr. in my collection. And if you want some patriotic spin on the Shazam family, now you do, thanks to that White Mary Marvel variant. So that's the Shazam family. That is Captain Marvel Jr. Um, there's not much else to say 
with him, but I would recommend him if you got the other two, if you like the Shazam family, and if you want this as your display, or that as your display if you only have the Red Mary Marvel. So, anyways, that is all. Uh, stay tuned for more DC Universe Signature Collection. Next month is Fire. Um, hopefully ice happens. And be sure to check out Hirotaku.com for toy reviews and DC news and more. And to the sound saying, goodbye. <laughs>